Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the three swing faults I, I see the most. And these swing faults, if you take care of these three swing faults and you do these drills that I give you, these swing faults will disappear. The first swing fault that I see on a daily basis is a failure to, to maintain axial rotation. All that means is when I make a golf swing, I don't want to move down or up bob my head down or up, or move my head side to side. So one of the drills I've designed is standing on one foot. You can use your right toe for balance. Place a club across your shoulders, turn back, and point that golf club just in front of the ball about one foot. Now, because you're on one foot, this will ensure, because you're on... On one foot, this will ensure that your head stays still because what will happen is if you're not on balance, you'll fall over. Um, and if you can't maintain your balance, more than likely you're moving your head excessively. So I would do that drill. You can also use a unstable surface like a balance disc. I, uh, I use these with my students all the time. I have them balanced on the disc. They can use one disc or two. Take a swing back and swing through. So you can do that on one disc or, excuse me a second, you can do it on two discs. And this is a lot more advanced because now I'm going to use these discs like so. I'm going to place them at an angle, step on the discs, and now I'm going to hold the clubs to the side and turn. This is another great drill to help you maintain axial rotation. The second swing fault is a failure to swing the golf club on plane. It's either too steep or too shallow. So, Take a golf club and take an alignment rod. Hold the alignment rod in your left hand. Take your grip, set up to the ball. Swing back in slow motion. And make sure you get that alignment rod parallel at the top. And make sure that alignment rod runs right down the target line. On the back swing and on the down swing. The club should be parallel, that alignment rod should be parallel, halfway back, and parallel at the top. The final drill that will help you is again take an alignment rod, hold it in your left hand and hit some punch shots. If you don't hit your rib cage here, then your impact condition is good because you always want the handle in front of the left hip. So hitting some punch shots without this early release or casting or cupping or bending of that left wrist, that's a great drill. In addition, I like to use a compression board to hit balls. The idea is to hit in between the two plastic pieces without hitting the board. If you do those exercises and those drills, I guarantee you will improve. 